It feels simple. You shop, find something you want, and click to buy. It shows up today, overnight, or tomorrow. We've gotten used to that speed, but that convenience comes with a climate cost. Companies rush to meet fast delivery windows, which means less consolidation, emptier trucks, and more fuel burned. Even for the same amount of demand, fast shipping is going to increase your overall emissions by 10 to 12 percent. That's because getting something to your door faster often means less efficient routes. When an item is not nearby, it often flies. And air freight is the most carbon-intensive part of the entire logistics chain. Given that companies want to be competitive in terms of speed, it comes at a cost of your efficiency. Your vans are half full, multiple trips to the same location. But slowing down, even a little, makes a big difference. When you delay the shipping by one to two days, it results in a 36% reduction in CO2 emissions. And then when consumers must further relay their shipping by three to four days, there is a resultant impact of, you know, 56% reduction in emissions. Retailers say they're trying to cut emissions with different delivery methods. So when you can, bundle orders, skip the overnight option, and plan ahead. Slower shipping can be cheaper and is one of the easiest climate choices you can make. The data just for 2025 uh, from January to September shows that uh, Customers, by consolidating, have been able to reduce our delivery stops by over 300 million stops, abating 100,000 tons of carbon emissions. So it is quite impactful at scale uh, when customers are able to do this.